hey guys i wanted to show you guys how i download um different items how i download uh different items as you can see i'm in um designbundles.net and actually they work pretty much the same way as my site works um pretty much uh the same way as my site work i couldn't do it from my site um because it wouldn't allow me because for whatever reasons it wouldn't allow me to do that um, but I wanted to show you how to actually um, download. Um, once I purchase it, um, I'm sure it went to my email as well. You can um, actually go to your email and download from your email because I've already purchased. I've already purchased it, so I'm going to show you my email where you'll also see um, it's going to have two. It'll probably have. Uh, it'll probably have two receipts. Well, it won't go to this one. It, it went to my other one, so I won't show you that. I'm sorry about that because it went to my other um to my other email. So it didn't go to the one I was about to show you. It went to another um another email, and I'm gonna let's see if I can find it. It actually went to to this to this email. And as you can see, it did the order confirmation and then um, it shows it. I can download my product from here if I want to, or I can go back and download my product here. I'm going to go here to download my product from um, from this area because um, that's where all of my downloads are usually are. If I forget something, I always go back and I look at what I've purchased and what fonts it is it's a it's a clear way of um keeping track of what you have and what you don't have um so as you can see i i download it I'll, I'll do it again just so you can see i went to download files and then it'll go to cl594 which i've already downloaded it so it's going to be be on there again and so that you can see where it is in your folder you will pretty much go to your folder and as you see it's in it's in my windows i i want to change the name so i clicked on it once and i'm going to put in christmas trees um and what's going to probably happen because i already did this is going to do the same thing again i'm going to press enter and as it, you can see it went up to christmas trees but because it's a download i usually just take it and i bring it into downloads so it's been moved into downloads now I'm gonna close it out and I'm gonna reopen it again and as you can see this is the second this is the second Christmas tree this is the one that um, I had previously tried to do the video but I messed up so I redid it and this is the one that um, that is showing now I'm gonna open it and once I open it I want to extract it now that is extracted of course it's going to ask me and i'm going to say yes because i want to um override or what have you and that's um i'm gonna do yes to all that way it it just does everything and now i'm going to close it and and suppose i was going into uh, my silhouette now i'm in silhouette and i want to open it and I need to go to downloads and I can click on Christmas trees now when we did that uh, when I extracted it what it did was it extracted it extracted whatever was in um, those files it pretty much extracted whatever um, was in that um, particular file I do believe it extracted what was in the file already um, and as you can see, this is hers. It's a preview image. Um, and I'm, I'm going to show you that. It's a preview image. And it probably won't open there. I was trying to see if there was a way that I could preview it. But as you can see, you can see here the little label here. You can see that. And, and I'm going to take you right back to it real quick so you can see that this is the same act this is the actual design this is the same um design now i'm going to go back to uh go back to it again uh oh i was in silhouette now i'm going to go back to it again and it's showing you all the previews but then it starts to separate 
everything for you. Now I have all of uh, everything separated because I extracted the file. So now it's, it's separated. And if I wanted to use something, um, say for instance, I wanted to use uh, this aisle, all I would have to do is press OK. And then it brings that particular aisle into my, uh, my silhouette. And then pretty much everything else is up to you because it did come in as a JPEG. Um, if I wanted to change the way that it looked, I would have to trace it or what have you um, to create whatever it is that I wanted to create. But this video is primarily to show you how you would download and extract files. Whereas when you went here, you saw all of those files. Mine's would have been in um, mine would have been an SVG. Mine would have been SVG formats. Whereas you saw you saw all of those files. You would have seen for me, um, you would have seen um, SVG files versus the PNG and all of those files. Whereas when you saw it, um, when you saw it here, and they separated everything, you would have seen, you would have actually seen SVG. Um, you would have actually seen SVG, EPS. I got to go back to download. And I'm putting it back in so that I can kind of show you where um, I'm going to open it again just so that you can see it. When I clicked on it, you saw PNG, EPS, and JPEG here. Whereas if you had used my file, you would have seen SVG, EPS, and um, DXF. Um, that's how you would have seen my files. But they're ba it's basically the same thing. You would extract it. Or open it you would extract it and then you primarily just bring it into your system whereas it was separated and you just bring it into your system now although we had all of those different designs um, the way that they were you can go through each one and rename those designs um, where it had the owl design or what have you you can actually go through it and rename those designs. You don't have to keep those names the way that they are. You can actually go through it. Whereas um, she has Woodland Christmas, Woodland, and she has everything numbered. You could have gone through it and said, Owl on a tree or um, wreath owl or owl on a tree with, uh, um, with ornaments or something like that or boxes with a fox. I mean, that's up to you. You, you just, you can go in and you can actually rename what that particular um, file is by clicking the rename so that you'll have an idea what it is. I just wanted to give you this video. I wanted you guys to see how it was actually done and uh, I hope it helps you. And if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to ask. I'm always here. I'm always open for questions. And thank you and have a really, really good day.